His Excellency Mr. Yetan, Minister for Climate and Energy. Mr. President, it is my honor to welcome you and your spouse to the Royal Palace in Amsterdam. Or, in proper Korean, Wanyong Hamnida. The Queen and I are delighted to welcome you as our guests. Your visit underlines the excellent relationship between our countries. For many people in the Netherlands, the Republic of Korea is no longer a far-off, unknown land. In fact, it seems like a Korean wave is taking over our country. The Republic of Korea is everywhere. There's K-pop on the radio, K-movies in the cinema, K-dramas on Netflix, and K-food in the supermarket. These days, we're eating kimchi instead of cauliflower, we're driving Kias and following K-vloggers on YouTube, and K-beauty is the new ideal that many aspire to. A country that inspires so much interest must be something special. The first Dutch person to notice this was Hendrik Hamel. He washed up on your, on your coast following a shipwreck 370 years ago, together with the crew of the Sperver. He described this fascinating adventures in his journal. What a country, densely populated and fertile, well-organized, welcoming, 
a country in which study and science are highly respected. We see all of these characteristics in the modern day Republic of Korea too. Fortunately, there are plenty of cultural highlights that people can enjoy in their downtime. We are proud of Maestro Jaap van Zweden, for example, the new music director of the Seoul Philharmonic Orchestra. And sport. I only need to mention the name Guus Hiddink to remind everyone here of how sport can inspire us. A Korean setting can also inspire Dutch athletes to excel, as the Queen and I witnessed in Pyeongchang in 2018. World Cup 4강 신화의 중심에는 네덜란드 출신의 명장 거스 히딩크 감독이 계십니다. 어디 계십니까? 히딩크 감독님? 어디 계세요? 아, 네. <웃음> Hangu 최초로 선보인 요한 크라이프를 잘 기억하고 있습니다. 아, 프로스트 감사합니다.